welcome to wanted talks this is the part second of the taxi app uh, and uh, in this video i will tell you how to set up uh, the android application and the dashboard uh, as i have given you uh, all the source code in the last video so in this video we will do the complete setup so uh, you have uh, these two applications so first we will import the rider app now uh, in this updated code uh, you don't have to uh, do anything else just simply import it and uh, the gradle will build automatically so keep calm and wait for that and it might take some time to load the dependencies from the internet so after that uh, click on the run button and uh, choose the deployment option you can choose the emulator or if you have the android phone turn the debugging mode on and you can see the preview of the application on your phone so here are the updated activities uh, and uh, in these activities i have uh, my facebook uh, facebook sdk for the login or authentication and the google map api so i request you to remove my credentials before deployment for your production purpose having said that i am giving you this code you can customize it according to you later so to understand the flow refer the main activity and uh, now we will see the preview of the application so it is building the application and now it is installing the apk now before that one important thing many of you has uh, simply uh, deployed the dashboard and uh, you are not uh, getting the data I I data is not posted from the application to the dashboard so this base url string is responsible for that this is the single string which you have to pass this is my domain name and the folder name so i, I have mapped mine you have to uh, change it according to your ip or domain name or the folder name so uh, change the base url and you can see uh, base url is concatenated with every every api so you have to change only the base url now uh, the application is ready on the emulator let's log into the rider app by providing the email first name last name and a password now it will ask for the otp on the number we are providing so i have got the otp Now it is 4233985. Now after the verification we will uh, go inside the app. From where we can book the taxi after lying the current location. Now we will take a pause and come to the driver app. Uh, before that let, let's see uh, whether the data is posted or not. Now here you can see uh, the registration data has been successfully posted. Now coming to, to the driver app and uh, in the driver app uh, the same process to register but here is a clause it will stop in mid and uh, from the dashboard we have to provide the approval for the same so uh, provide the otp and uh, no here is a problem because i have used the same email before from driver app so let's change the email and try again so we will get the otp yeah we have got the otp so after entering the otp now this application will pause here so it needs uh, the approval so go to the provider and list provider here you can see the data has been posted here and we have to click on the attention button here we have to provide the type of taxi you can add these uh, type of taxis the number plate and the model of the taxi and if if you wish you can upload the documents of the vehicle as well and after that click on the list provider and this and click on enable now the provider has been successfully approved now coming to the taxi app now it will take the driver to go in and he is ready to accept the rides now uh, let's see a preview suppose i have to go to some location i have entered it this is the price we will have a look to the dashboard how to customize it but here you can see i have made the request from the driver app, from the rider app and i have got this request on this driver app 
now after accepting it uh, one can call the driver and it will ask for the permission to call and we can make a call we can cancel it by providing a reason even the driver can cancel the ride so it is exactly the clone of uber so every functionality is the same now coming to the dashboard i am logging my c panel and uh, as i have given you the dashboard code and a database so go to the file manager and uh, choose a domain where you want to host it select it and in the root folder upload all the dashboard files <coughs> sorry so as it has uploaded successfully now we will extract the entire folder now this i have done before so i will go to my domain and my folder this is the dashboard file after extracting so you can simply upload them extract them and after that uh, edit the environmental variable file dot env where you will find the database name the table name and the password now go to the database section and create a database with the same name and uh, like we can see the name from here you can change it you can change the name in the env file and here as well but for the demo purpose i am telling you what all you have to do and after that you need to map your database with the table like uh, this is the user sorry not table with the user so after mapping it it will ask for the permissions like here and you have to you have to give all the permissions now the last part is to go to the php my admin now in php my admin you have to import the database which i have shared with you it is a sql file so after selecting the database click on import button and here you can choose the same database and upload it so i believe the process is pretty simple and uh, in this admin you can change the login and password password is encrypted so by default it is 123456 you can change it if you want now we have logged in to the dashboard successfully here you can change the price from the services like uh, you want a per minute price or per kilometer price every clause is there here you can change the statement i hope uh, you can now set it up and uh, thank you for watching the video have a great day